Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm just journaling, so come on along. My Gingerbread House Christmas December Daily is chunky, but I have a few more pages I need to do to finish this up for December 2020. So I did a few pages. I did this one very flat, and this is for December 20. And I just put an old picture of my son with Santa on the page because like I said chunky chunky and then on this page I just thought it was cute this all kind of goes together here my sister sent me a card and my sister my brother-in-law and the grandkids and their cat who is my cat's father And then on the inside, I put a picture of me and Mr. Possum. And we're sitting somewhere, it must be around Christmas time, because there are some poinsettias. And so I used this poinsettia paper for the background that's red and white. That kind of goes with the red and white striped paper that was already on this page. And the number 20 from the paper pack has these poinsettias on it. And then I sat down and wrote a poem. Sometimes in the winter, I get very poetic. And this one's called Making Memories by Possum Patty. Making memories that will last with the youngins that grow too fast and the oldins that too soon will pass. Christmas 2021. So she's making memories with her grandkids they did the North Pole Express, which is um, the Essex steam train in Essex, Connecticut. And for the Christmas, they do it up like the North Pole Express. And I think they were supposed to do it last year, but it was canceled because of the COVID. So then they went ahead and did it this year. So that was the 20. So now the 21st is the winter solstice. So I wanted to do something that was very wintry looking. And I took this page from Starry Night. And it is actually one great big giant whoops, circle, which of course is not going to fit on any page that I'll ever do. But that doesn't mean you can't use it. Just cut it up and use it like a nice border. So I cut it to fit this page. And see, now I still have these pieces that are really nice and I can use them on something else. So I'm going to save those. And I want to write the winter solstice, December 21st, 2021. Uh, maybe just some fancy letters. This has a gold star. I thought maybe I might put one of these uh, Dollar Tree gold stars on there and then write on there. And then I was going to put, whoops, sorry. Where is it? I keep changing my mind with what I'm going to do and everything it winds up on the desk. Okay, I was going to put this picture here. And then I'm thinking, ah, oh, I really do want to put a shaker card in here. So what if I make this a shaker card with some little things that look like snow? And to do that, I am just going to back it on this paper. I'm going to glue it down on here. I'm going to cut this to fit inside just this little acetate bag here. And then I think on the back, I'm just going to put these stars on the back. And then I'm going to put some of this white, and they call this ornament filler. This is from the Dollar Tree. And I wanted to use white with this because I have this dark blue. So I thought that would look nice. I'm going to put a little bit in and then sew around the edge. And that will be my shaker card. And then I'm going to make a 
altered paper clip and I think I am just going to clip it to the page. Now this side has Santa and so that's going to be another 21 page, December 21st. So maybe I'll put the star on one side of the clip or something like a snowflake. Do I have snowflakes? Yes, I do somewhere. I have snowflakes. And then maybe I can put a Santa on the other side or something to go with the red and green on this side and something to go with the blue and white on this side. Okay, so I've got two pages done and I'm going to get two more done and then I'll be up to the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. And then actually I want to do some work in my big Christmas journal. And I have a few things I want to put in my gnome journal and my junk journal. And that's a lot of journaling, right? But this is Possum Patty, just journaling. So, okay, that can wait for a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my shaker card. So again, this is going to be the background for this picture. And I'm going to cut this the size of this bag. And you could just buy these anywhere, I guess, which is probably four by six. Four by six, just a plain acetate bag. That's all that is. And then I'm going to back that and put this on the back. Whoops. All right. So basically, to make your basic simple shaker card, just find a acetate envelope or pocket or something that's clear. Slip in your photo or your cardstock. Put in a little bit of sequins or whatever you have, and glue or sew up the open side. And there you have it. And what I did on this particular one was I backed the photo with the blue cardstock. I changed the back from the stars to the snowflake because of the snow theme. But I did add a few little gold sequins. These are Dollar Tree sequins. And on the front, I added just a little bit of snow. And this is the fake snow that I got at the Dollar Tree. And instead of gluing, I ran this through the sewing machine and I did this stitch, which I think it's supposed to look like a flower, but if you do white on blue, it looks like a snowflake. And I did both sides, even though this end was closed, I just added the stitching like that. So my shaker card is ready to go on the page. And I wrote December 21st, the winter solstice. And I decided, since this was all white, but I do like white, it's just to take a few colored pencils in different shades of blue. Missing one here. Oh, here they are. They rolled away. And then just lightly color in a few of the letters. So I just took darker blues and went lighter and lighter. And then start at the bottom, and I'll probably be coloring in you know, just like some of the little spaces, just for fun, just you need a quiet time after the holidays, right, to just kind of sit and meditate, and veg out. Coloring is very good for that. So just like that. And in this little space, maybe it's a little bit of medium. Some lighter color in the middle. So I'm just going to sit here and quietly just color in some of these letters and then I will come back and show you what I did. You get a really nice ombre effect by using the different color blues. Just random colored in some of the letters. Added some festive little dots in the background and I just have to glue this down. 
and then I'm going to make the altered paper clip to hold on this picture. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I can think about it while I'm gluing this down. Okay, I'm going to attempt to make a hidden paper clip. I just have this little folder of snowy paper, and I'm going to take another little piece of this paper, maybe something a little bigger. I got all these little scraps here, like this. So I'm going to glue that down to that side and then I'm going to slip that in there like that and glue this side down to that side. So you're not going to see the paper clip and you can still between these two pieces of paper slide it on and off. So as soon as I get this just the way I want it. I'm wondering if I should make these two the same size. Maybe I will. Oh, but that lets that piece poke out. Oh, we can put it there. I think that'll be good. I'm just fiddling with it. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to work. Shall we use Fabri-Tac? Oh, getting low on this. I just bought lots of tacky glue and a couple of glue sticks. And now I've got to go get some Fabri-Tac. I like to use a Fabri-Tac on things that are going to get a lot of use, like pockets and things like this. This is going to have to dry for a few minutes. I put the gold star on there. This is a Dollar Tree. And you just open it to the middle there where you can see the pattern and slide it on. And that's going to go right there for my winter solstice page. Okay, now I have blue on a red and green page. So that may get covered up, we don't know. That's snow, snow goes with Santa, right? Right. I think I'm going to put a Dr. Seuss quote on this page and it is something my sister put on a poster she made oh, a few years back uh, on my birthday and she had old pictures of me and she put this quote and it's from Dr. Seuss and I'll read it to you in a minute. It is not from How the Grinch Stole Christmas but I was thinking since it was Dr. Seuss that somehow this is a scrap left from last year's Christmas junk journal that if I put the Grinch here that I can write the poem on this white space 
somehow and just glue it down on here. And that'll be the other page for 21. I like this, the black writing, the black ink. Looks like the scratchy background. It sort of all blends in. And it says, how did it get so late so soon? It's night before it's afternoon. December is here before it's June. My goodness, the time has flown. How did it get so late so soon? Dr. Seuss. And I'm just going to take the Grinch and glue him on the page. I might put a number on there and on the altered paper clip because this is going to show on this side. I put a little picture of the Who from the book. And that's just going to be there after I glue this down and hmm, I guess I need to find a number. I decided I wanted a black and white number. So what I did was I took this gray and gold and took my hole punch and punched out the 21. I went over it with some black ink. This is the glazed pen, so it's a little bit shiny. Added some dots and a little bit of black distressing. And I'm going to add it right there above Dr. Seuss's name. I like the way we have these nice Santas peeking out behind the Grinch. So I'm definitely going to leave that. So I just need a little bit of tacky glue to add the number. Get to put the cap back on. December came so quickly and passed by so quickly. It is almost the new year and I have a few more pages to go, but I'm sure I will finish it up. So let me recap. A nice easy page here for the 20th of December. Little Santa picture. I left this because I thought it was so cute. And also for the 20th um, card that my sister sent me with her grandkids and her kitty cat. That's my cat's father. Me and Mr. Possum and my Making Memories poem for the winter solstice. I went blue with a snowy shaker card and this is pretty old 19 I bet you this is late 1980s and then I have my altered paper clip I put a gold star on it to match the gold star on the page here these are little pretty gold stars and then on this side Oh, he's covering up the poem. That's all right. You can take it off and read it. My quote from Dr. Seuss, a little Grinch in there with Santy in the corner. And now I'll be ready for 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, thanks for coming along today. Happy December journaling. Are you still journaling every day in December? Right through Christmas? Or do you go up to the first of the new year? This journal is going to stop at Christmas. But I do have my other Christmas journals to work in. So there will be lots and lots of Christmas journaling still to go. Bye bye now.